And to help bring a Northwoods perspective to this horrific shooting, we are joined by Representative Rob Swearingen, who is on the phone with us from Madison this morning. Good morning to you, Rob. Uh, good morning, Marissa. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. I really, really appreciate it. But first of all, we need to know what does the Molson Coors company mean to the city of Milwaukee and just to the state of Wisconsin in general? Well, I'll tell you, it was a sad day for hospitality in the state of Wisconsin yesterday. Uh, Molson Coors, of course, has its uh, fingers throughout Milwaukee. Uh, and then it, uh, the uh, the fingers travel absolutely through the Northwoods. So uh, the entire uh, hospitality industry is mourning uh, what happened at the Molson Course plant yesterday. Of course, and you have visited the Molson Course campus several times. So can you tell us a little bit about what the facility is like? Yeah, sure. Uh, the uh, well, first of all, the facility is fantastic uh, and actually uh, very secure as well. And as you indicated, that it was an employee that was um, that, that was able to, to gain entrance. Uh, because you don't just walk into uh, the facility, especially uh, the manufacturing plant or the corporate headquarters. Uh, different, of course, than the tour center area, which is, you know, a couple blocks down the street, uh, where they conduct tours, uh, you know, basically on a uh, half an hour, 45-minute basis. So uh, the, the campus itself is, uh, is, is a part of Milwaukee. Of course, Molson, Molson Coors is, great, is, is glad to be a part of Milwaukee, and Milwaukee, of course, is glad to have Molson Coors as one of their industry partners. So... Uh, just a real quiet day in Milwaukee for sure today. Of course, and just what was your initial reaction when you first heard the news? I mean, obviously everyone has been just completely shocked. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I was kind of glued actually in my office to a live stream from uh, uh, WTMJ4 out of Milwaukee during the whole uh, uh, several hours there as uh, things were unfolding. And uh, I did text a friend of mine that uh, uh, is still with the company uh, and making sure he was okay. Of course, he, he came back and he was fine. However, it was uh, you know kind of a sad day for the brewery as well. So, uh, you know, it's important to note that uh, it goes as far as the Northwoods in terms of uh, the, the Molson Coors distributor network uh, in the Northwoods. Uh, uh, folks like me who are, uh, have a, a liquor license or beer license, we buy our products, our Miller products, from General Beer out of Eagle River. And, of course, our Coors products come from Zastro the Beer Man out of Wausau, on Merrill. So we all have a relationship with uh, uh, our not only the brewery itself, but, of course, the distributor networks and our salesmen and our delivery people. Well, we greatly appreciate hearing your perspective and just um, really kind of giving us an idea of what an impact it has here at home and all across the state and, of course, all across the country as well. So thank you so much to you, Representative Swearingen, for your time and uh, certainly heavy hearts all across the state this morning. Absolutely. And as uh, people in the Northwoods enjoy a line cool, remember that uh, that name is synonymous with Molson Coors as well. So, Marissa, thanks for the opportunity to weigh in this morning. Of course. We appreciate it.